Here's your three-minute crash course in how to manage Generation X, Jed, one of our ongoing uh, series and, and various generational things. Tell us what we need to know about Generation X. Well, let's talk about what makes this generation a little bit weird, why the other generations think Generation X is a little bit weird. Uh, well, they're, they're a bunch that doesn't have the most positive, optimistic outlook on life. In fact, we would probably describe them as, you know, they expect to be screwed and they're somewhat skeptical about uh, about work. And They're and, total killjoys, Jed. They're a bit of killjoys, but but I think maybe they come by it honestly. You know, if you think about the time period when these folks were growing up, there was, uh, you know, they watched their parents get downsized during the 80s. They watched divorce rates, you know, skyrocket. Yep. Um, they watched the whole, you know, AIDS epidemic thing go a bit nutty energy crises, things like that. So they, they maybe have good reason to be a bit skeptical and think that they might in fact be screwed at some point in time. Yeah, cheery time to be growing up. <laughs> yeah. But what this might mean for folks of this generation, and if you happen to be leading and work or working with this kind of generation is, you know, they they are a bit of a bunch that can be quite independent as well. So although they are a bit skeptical, um, they've taken that and turned it into a I guess a space where they have to look after themselves. So right. they're very they're very used to doing things on their own, figuring things out for themselves, taking a lot of risks and not ha- not having to be or being coddled along the way very much at all. Mm-hmm. Um, given what happened to them, their parents during the 80s and that whole corporate downsizing, their approach to work is maybe a bit different than the other generations as well. They, they would look at job security as I need to, to build my skills and build my resume to such a point that I – will be able to find another job when this one ends. Because I know this one's going to end. Unlike the other generations who thought they'd have a job for life, right. this generation doesn't expect to have a job for life at all. So they spend a lot of time figuring out how they're going to prepare themselves for those transitions. So they're very into build, resume building, skill building, getting do, new learning opportunities. But because of that mobility, they may not be seen by other generations as maybe being as, as loyal as they would like. This isn't a loyal uh, a loyal generation. If you want loyalty, get a dog, they would say, right? So I'm looking after <laughs> me. I'm looking after n- number one. I need to because I, I don't I don't trust you. You're not going to look after me, so I need to look after me. Right. So in 30 seconds or less, Jed, how do I lead and motivate these Gen X types? Sure. So what does that mean as a, as a person leading this bunch? Well, because they're risk takers, allow them to take some of those chances. If you can set up your products or work in such a way that allows them to look after it and be a bit independent and allow them to take some risks, then then do so. They're going to be energized by that kind of work. Right. If you can figure out some carrots, some motivators, if you will, um, around time off or time away from work or letting them uh, work a compressed work week, things of that nature. If you can frame um, some of that up for them, they're going to be motivated to try and look after those things because they're not the workaholics that their parents uh, were. Right. I talked about the resume building stuff. If Again, if you frame products in such a way that, hey, I think this is a great opportunity for you to learn something new or gather some experience that maybe you haven't had yet, the Gen X the Gen Xer is going to be all over that kind of learning and be really motivated to go do those sorts of things. Um, the other thing I would say is they're very into uh, doing it their way. So, if I'm managing one of these folks, I'm not going to be too prescriptive in terms of how I need or have to have things done. Set out the outcome that you're looking for and let them figure it out. They're used to that. They like working like that in that kind of a way. All right. Well, thanks for that, Jed. The full-length feature uh, podcast is back at the Wiley Manager website at www.wileymanager.com, as well as the written materials where you can figure out how to better manage Generation X. We'll see you next time, Jed. See you, Bob. <laughs>